Hello and welcome to Midweek Madness with, um, I hope this is not too loud. Oh, that probably really hurt your ears. <laughs> yeah, it's Madness Week. Um, I'm actually going crazy. I just, I got something really awesome to show you. That's why I'm doing this. Um, all right, so I'm working on a uh, zombie sh zombie shooter game. Got the basic... Well, the AI systems that were pre-canned from Unity were awesome, but they didn't do exactly what I wanted for my zombies. So I had to basically write it myself. Whew, long story short, that flicker is annoying, so let's just go to the... Oops, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, less flicker. It was driving me nuts because it was right in my, right, my left monitor. Okay, yeah, the same stuff, right? Zombie Jill is new to the scene. She is my old zombie from another life span or lifetime. And she's back. This is when I actually learned how to program. This was actually last year when I was learning how to program Unity in C++. I mean, C Sharp, sorry. Let's just show you what she does. Okay, she's got a lot of hit points, so she's just going to chase us like crazy, right? And I got this integrated with Invector. Which is even better. Now see, she's not losing health really fast because I'm only doing body shots. That's intentional. Yeah, there we go. I got a headshot in there. Let's go headshot. Whoops. Boom. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Let's, okay, but... Okay, there we go. Okay. She's at... Um, I think... I forgot the threshold of... Um, we're now... Yeah, th there you go. Now she's limping. Limp away. Come on, run away. Um, I haven't really changed the states to... She's supposed to be chasing still, but she's just limping away. It actually kind of... <laughs> it, it kind of makes you feel bad for the zombie. I mean, she's, like, trying to get away from you, and you're, like, gunning her down and shit. Come on, Jill. Hurry up. Let's show you what you got. What you got? What you got? Come on. Show it. Show it. There we go. Okay. One more time. Oh. Maybe not. What's going on, Jill? Hold on, let's go to Zombie Jill. Um, Alright, well, 152 health. That's my Invector stuff that's integrated in. Here's my custom zombie. Um, lower body health is almost there, so what's, I don't know what's going on. There we go, I think that hit it. Yeah, 83. So, she's gonna... Nope. What are you doing? You're making me look bad. You are not working. I just had you working. Twenty. That should work. Lower body health is twenty. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I was just shooting in the wrong spots. And now she's got, I mean, she's down to, like, basically, um, where was the percent? Where's the threshold? Crawl threshold, oh, 10%. Okay, yeah, 250. Yeah, so I have that set a little too high. I should have set it. Like, if I put the crawl, oh, actually, no, it's not going to work now. Don't run away. Come on, we got it. Whoops, shit. Where'd she go? Oh, she's way gone. Stay down. What are you doing? Well, I mean, there's still bugs. I mean, um, <laughs> she's dead. I haven't finished the, the whole... I've been working really hard on getting just that working today. Um, let's, let's just show you real quick on the code. Um, yeah, this actually threw me off because I'm doing these two as an integer for some reason. Uh, so basically to integrate with Invector, my damage had to be an integer and working with floats is a lot easier. So I'm coming from a Python background and when you divide in two integers together, they return a float kind of thing. When you do it with C sharp, it returns zero. So I'm here sitting there with my, not that. Um, I'm just looking at my script, and it's just like, what's going on? Everything, it, it's, the damage is correct, the math is right, everything is right. 
and it's still returning zero, and I'm printing zero, and I'm here ripping my hair out, and I'm going on, on Google and searching Unity forums and everything, and it just wasn't working. But now it is, and it makes me feel really good to see Jill crawl and beg for her life. Um, that's just a cube. Blow that sucker away. Come on. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, ooh, ooh, that must have hurt. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come on, chase after us. Okay, this is all great and dandy with one zombie. Not that. Where are you going? <laughs> you running away? You don't even know where to go, do you? Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. <laughs> <laughs> limping, limping away. Here we go. Come on. Oh, go, 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 go. Okay. Come on. Here we go. Come on, Jill. You can get it. Oh, there we go. Get on your back. Crawl. Yes. Am I at the threshold? I think so. 24 seems. It. Oh. Oh, she did. Oh, yeah. She's dead. Is dead equals true. Darn it. Sorry, Jill. I don't know why the blood is... I don't know why the blood is popping up over there now. I gotta figure that out. Um, yeah, there's a few bugs going on here and there. But whatever. Who cares? I just wanted to show you what I've been working on for this week. And um, it's actually, <laughs> actually quite fun. Um, yeah, so... Anyways, now imagine that, you know, I'm going to have lower health. All these zombies are going to be, these. all these parameters you see here are going to be, um, like, the intelligence level. She's going to, I mean, you can have some dumbass zombies, right? Um, intelligence and all that. Everything here. Um, well, screaming is when they scream and, like, other zombies in the area will come running to you. Um so there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in the future, but these are all aggression, zombies aggression. She's actually right in the middle. Uh, I could have turned that way down for limping or way up. There's going to be parameters here that are, all, these are all going to be random proced procedurally generated um, for each zombie and each game. And you're not just going to have one zombie. You're going to have lots of them and they're going to have a little less health. So basically what I did is for the Invector system, the health button here, I have 500 right now, right? Um, zombie Jill's hips. So each um, each limb basically has a health receiver. Limbs generate 30% damage, body damage. Headshots generate five times the damage. So you're balancing off limb shots and everything with what's going on um and that's basically whoops no that's basically what's going on so each limb left leg you know has the invector damage receiver and right now i gotta balance this out a little more but i mean as you can see like the spine receives a full damage um Where's the head? Do I have that? No, I don't have one there. No, nothing on the neck. Neck. What's what's all these necks? Head. Uh, that's five times damage. And that all integrates back in with my AI that I have. And my AI then reacts to the Invector stuff. And the Invector stuff can do its own thing. I didn't even have to... I actually had a... I, I was originally doing, let's see, where's the projectile? So I originally was doing right here where my zombie did some special stuff. And because this is what where Emerald AI does. They want you to change this one little line here. Um, that's, and so that's originally how I did it. And then I was like, wait a minute, you know what? Let's try in integrating the Invector stuff. And then I, I basically grabbed the punching bag code, which is this guy. And the punching bag code was actually pretty damn good. So then I turned it to zombie character. And this is it. Basically, it does the take damage. It does a, it does that. And then it forwards the damage off to my character, which is here, with the force and all that stuff. And it I added the rigid body v variable to it. So that way I can know exactly where 
what rigid body it hit. So that way I can know what body part it hit and then disable each body part individually as the game goes on. So when you're talking like zombie, now I don't have any dismemberment stuff. Uh, the one dismember uh, uh, program that I did, you, I was using, doesn't have it for like solid meshes. And so then I would have to basically build all my characters with individual parts. And I don't have the skill, money, or time to do that. So unfortunately, we're not going to have dismemberment yet. Um, if anybody wants to donate some zombie, like a, 5, 10, 15, 20 zombie models that are made for dismembering, I will gladly accept it. But in that, otherwise, I don't have that. So that's basically the midweek madness. Um, I'm really happy that I've gotten this far with it. I've been working really, really hard on my free time and neglecting everything that I'm supposed to do. My lawn... W <laughs> I mowed the lawn just today. <laughs> it was just <laughs> forget about it. They killed the lawnmower for like five. I have a Husqvarna and that thing mows everything, but it was struggling and I'm surprised because the Husqvarna I've run I've I've chopped up logs with that that damn thing. I'll show you I'll make videos later. So basically hey, oh boy. This is all unscripted, off the cuff. Um I just wanted to show off what I did. Um, I'm really happy with it. I'm really, really, really excited to bring this to you guys. That's why I'm doing this right now. Um, I didn't even plan on doing a video. I'm just like, let's do a video. This is so awesome and cool, right? Okay, so I'm really happy about this. Thank you. Um, have a good night, and I'll see you uh, in a couple days. Bye.